the male or drone bees who don't do any work, no jokes, who don't do any work, <laughs> because it's the, the males have one parent, a queen, it's an unfertilized egg. But the females, those are the fertilized eggs, and those are about 50,000 of those, those are the worker bees, the females, and very few are fed with the royal jelly, and they become new queens themselves ready to start up new hives. So it's the females that do the work, and the males are there to help um, fertilize the queens for the new hives. So females have two parents. And so here's another joke, so where the bees are two with parents, it's either to be or not to be. <laughs> <laughs> but let's have a look at what happens on here. Uh, so we'll have a look at its family tree. <laughs> I've got one or two more of those if you want. Um, what does the bee say when it meets a flower? Hello, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh yes, the favourite group is the hive. So of course the bee gees. Um, <laughs> the, fa the favourite singer is um, Ping. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's good to be internet, isn't it, Joe? <laughs> right, there's a male symbol that we use, and uh, there's a female symbol. So we said the males come from just the, the usual way of doing family trees. Remember, the, the parents at the top and the children are underneath. So there's one parent of a, of a male, which was a queen. It's an unfertilized egg. That uh, hatches. And here, for the female, any um, by the, be the ones that don't produce or the ones that do the queens, they actually have two parents. So we'll write them in that way. So let's have a look at a little family tree. This is a uh, bee. Um, so let's start with a, with a male. And the male is, of course, one parent. So we'll add that in. There's the male's one parent. So how many grandparents would he have had as one parent? And the, thing, the male, the parent, would have had two parents, so he would have had two grandparents. So one parent and two grandparents. How many great grandparents? So this one would have had how many parents? Good. And that one would have had two. So we're going to get three. Well, you can guess what's coming. Three. And how many there? Well, that would have had two and one and two. She gave us five. And you can carry this on and get what you might expect because um, each of these is that one's two below and that one's one below, and so it's the sum of the parents of those two <coughs> away. But the other thing that happens, well, here we go, and that's not just the male, you'll get that as going back in the family tree, theoretically. Um, but we also get the same with the females because if I lose that off the bottom, there's the female family tree. And it's the same structure, the same numbers, it's just that now these big grandparents become great grandparents become parents and great grandparents become grandparents and so on. So again it's the same structure for either of them. But the other thing to notice is that I've got a female here, there's a female and a male, and so the structure here is the same as that one, that will be a female and a male. What we're getting is that um, this bit is going to always start off our series. And then the next one's always followed by a male, so that one's followed by a yellow. And so the first three will be the same as that three. But then this five is again the same. What happens is that if you follow it through, you'll actually get a particular, as you go further back, you're just getting further along on this, this particular pattern. It starts with a yellow, and then a yellow and a red, and then a yellow, red, yellow, <coughs> and then yellow, red, yellow, yellow, red, here, and so on, five, and then eight and thirteen of that. And this is called, it's, usually we put them in terms of ones and zeros, and it's called um, the golden string. And that's where a lot of applications in computing, mm -hmm. though it came from here, these to do with flowers. I'm looking at them, it's the Fibonacci number, yet again, nothing to do with golden section, but to do with the special way in which um, these grow. So, oh, there's five here, anywhere else in nature? You may well ask. In geometry, in humans, we'll see whether that's true, and in seashells, we'll just briefly look at those. And 